Today, let's take a look at this area of the tooth. There's decay here. From the back, you can see where the lower tooth hits. Since I want to preserve the enamel, I decided to approach from the front side. Carefully drilling from the front, there it is, decay. You can see the decay spreading inward from between the teeth. I stain the inner area with Kerry's detecting dye. This blue stained area needs to be carefully cleaned out. Soft and dentin destroyed by decay comes off. I thoroughly remove this soft and dentin. I apply the dye repeatedly to make sure all decay is removed. After removing the decay, I coat the dentin with Apatite. Then, bonding is applied and composite resin is filled into the cavity. Before filling, I pre-select the correct shade for the tooth. Then. I use that selected shade of composite to restore the tooth. To maintain space between teeth, I use a separator like this. Then carefully pack the composite resin. After filling, I mark tiny edges with a pencil. I carefully trim the edges. After polishing and finishing, I notice something. The shade didn't match. The composite I placed was to white. Let's take a look at what happened next, right afterward. The composite shade didn't blend with the natural tooth. Without rushing, I shaved off just the outer layer of resin. I reapplied the bonding agent. And I placed a slightly darker shade of composite. From there, the steps were the same. I shaped the surface carefully after filling. Smoothed the surface, polished it, and managed to recover the restoration. That's it for today. Science-Based Dental Care, Takata Dental Clinic.